Hey guys, Gainsy here and welcome back to another Unturned Gameplay. Today's episode we are going to talk about hunting. Now to hunt, I am not on about killing zombies. That's not really hunting, that's kind of... I don't know what that is. Something. Well, I mean hunting animals, so there's two types of animals so far. There's pig and deer. And as you can see in my crosshairs, I have found a pig. I'm right next to the military base, which my base is just there, you can see it. And we are going to talk about what you can do with things like the skin that you get off them and the food and what you can do with that and the benefits. So first things first, we need to put down this pig. It's still alive. Stupid pig. Okay, that killed it. Yeah, he did. He's not getting up. Oh. Zombie. Okay. I'll be back in just a second once I get over there. Where is that zombie going? Um, is, he, is he mourning? What? I'm on a single player so there's no one else on the server and I just saw him walk straight past me. Over to where I killed that zombie. What the hell? Huh. Okay, now it's... As... Wait, did he bring him back to life? No, is there... <laughs> What's going on? Just die, you stupid things. Just stay dead. Stay fucking dead. Yeah. Okay guys, welcome back, and here it is. The pig in all of his or her glory. Now there's two items on the ground. There's animal pelt, and there's raw bacon. Now there's different things that you can do with these. Raw bacon It's obviously for eating. Pig just despawned. It's fine, because the things are still here. It's all we want. Fuck the pig. Didn't like him anyway. Okay, I'm going to head back to base and then we'll show you how to cook up the meat and what we can do with the animal pelts. Okay guys, welcome back. I am back at my base and I have grabbed the animal pelts out of the chest that I had. Just because we need more than, I think we got two that time. So you might have to kill a few animals, you know, if you genuinely feel that bad about it, you can say a few prayers. I'm sure, I'm sure, they'll be fine. They'll be fine doing what they do. So there's a few things that we can make out of this, out of this, out of animal pelts. There's actually four things we can make. We can make animal shirts. I'll just get naked. Mmm, yeah. Take this off as well. A few things we can make. We can make animal shirts, animal pants, an animal backpack, and duct tape. Okay, so to start off the animal shirt, that is simply four animal pelts makes the animal shirt. We can grab that. See see what it looks like. Hmm. It's not, it's not too bad actually. I haven't, I haven't actually seen it on anything. This is me, my first time viewing. It's not bad. I feel a bit like an Indian. Just need a headdress now and I'm sorted. And to make animal pelts, animal pelts, animal pants, we're gonna need rope. Luckily, I have some here. How convenient. <laughs> and for the animal pants, we need four animal pelts and... No, sorry. Three animal pelts and one piece of rope. So we can grab that. Where have they gone now? Did I not make them? Oops. Take two. Craft. There we are. Put the animal pants on. Okay, I am animaled up. Then we can also make the animal backpack, which we need. What was it again? It was four animal pelts and one duct tape. Make the animal backpack. I have no idea. If we put this on, just drop loads of stuff. So it can hold 10 kilograms of weight. And it gives you, so you still have the fifth slot, which is awesome. 
and it gives you another row, so another five slots. Look, oh, quite like that actually. It's all one colour though. That's a bit bland for my liking. So that's what you can do with the animal pelts. You can actually make duct tape out of animal pelts as well, but that needs a can. And I do not have a can. <laughs> I used it making the canteen just on the floor right there in a previous video. Now what we can do where's the food? I've got the raw bacon in my inventory. Silly. We need to make a campfire. Okay? And we use a campfire similar to how we'd use a crafting. So if I step away from the cra from the fire go to crafting. Nope, we're still there. Okay. Turn the fire off, go into crafting. We've just got this here. This little crafting hammer and wrench thing. When we light the fire, we've got that and the fire symbol. So if we click that, that goes into our tool slot in our crafting bench, crafting area. And that means we can cook things. See, if we just did it with the normal hammer and wrench, we can't do anything. So I'll use the fire, and then we can cook it. Simple, one cooked bake, one raw bacon equals one cooked bacon. And then nice to eat. I am not sure how much food this actually takes away. Probably do some tests and get back to you on that. But thank you for watching, and this has been the hunting episode. I'll catch you guys next time. Nom 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 nom. I can't.